Potato. This is 7 Sydney Afternoon News with Anne Sanders. First and four, good afternoon. In breaking news, Cardinal George Pell, after being released from prison yesterday, has left his Melbourne sanctuary and is heading north towards Sydney. Chris Reason joins us from St Mary's Cathedral. Good afternoon, Chris. This was quite sudden. Uh, very sudden indeed. Good afternoon to you, Anne. Yes, the Cardinal has hit the road. He spent just one night in that Carmelite monastery in Melbourne's east in the suburb of Kew before deciding he wanted to make a move today. This, of course, is after the High Court quashed his conviction and released him from his 13 months in prison so far. In a black SUV, he hit the road and hit the, the Hume Highway headed north. We don't know where at this stage, but seven news cameras have been following him the entire way. His first stop was uh, about three hours in at a Glenrowan BP service station where he wanted to buy a phone charger and also a copy of that day's paper. Um, he stopped quickly as he was um, followed by uh, Seven's Paul Dowsley and had a couple of words in exchange with him. Let's have a listen to a little bit of what uh, George Pell had to say. And note and remember, this is the first comments, public comments from the Cardinal in, I figure, at least over a year. Keep your social distance. Thank you. Cardinal Pell. Yes. What would you like to say to your accusers, your living accuser and the family of your deceased accuser? I'd like to say that the, the, the court has made a very good uh, decision. I'm sorry I'm not dressed a bit better, but I didn't expect visitors. Cardinal Pell speaking a short time ago. Chris, a lot of anguish left behind in the wake of this decision. Has there been reaction from his accuser today? Yeah, and look, a lot of anguish indeed. This morning, in fact, uh, Melbourne woke up and saw that uh, the primary cathedral, main cathedral, St Patrick's, the place where the uh, allega alleged uh, assault, sexual assault had happened back in 1996 between George Pell and those two 13-year-old choir boys, it was covered with graffiti and pretty offensive graffiti as well. Some of that that we can show and report includes lines like rot in hell, Pell, no justice for victim. Every single door of that wonderful building has been defaced uh, overnight. Police investigating and cleaners working to get rid of it. But yes, Anne, we finally did hear from uh, the so-called Victim J, as his uh, legal code name. Uh, he issued a statement today and also spoke through his lawyers saying that he was understanding and accepting of yesterday's High Court decision. Uh, two members of the family who were being quarantined hell with five other... All transported to a hospital hotel with the symptoms onto buses support of course there was a lot of relief and while many say the stay here was challenging they understand it was necessary we just felt like we were a burden more than anything and not treated as you know a guest as soon as I get to my garden It'll be, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here. And happy Easter to everybody. All travellers underwent a final health check before they were released this morning. They've also been sent home with a letter from authorities confirming they completed their quarantine period. Yeah, we had a health check yesterday, temperature, um, medical screening with questions. We were being meandered around, sort of really doing donuts around the South Pacific Ocean. At the same point, we were in the best place to be on because no one has had coronavirus. Thousands of other return travellers are still stuck in other hotels across the city and they're due to be released over the weekend. Federal Parliament is debating the government's landmark wage subsidy scheme right now. Confident they can pass the legislation tonight. Political correspondent Tim Lester is in Canberra for us. Hello, Tim. Scott Morrison also issued a rallying cry to Australians. Yes, and it was quite a rev up in the House of Representatives when the Prime Minister spoke, spoke this morning. Two MPs suitably sitting 1.5 metres apart. They can afford to social distance because there is only a quorum of them here, not the full 151 complement of the House. They listened to the Prime Minister this afternoon as he spoke on the topic of the virus. They will vote later today on the passage of the legislation, the JobKeeper program. Uh, all $130 billion of incentives for companies to pay their employees a wage subsidy of $1,500 a fortnight. Vital legislation as the government sees it. The parliament expected to pass it later tonight and then rise if it stays to its schedule right until August as the government focuses on the fight against the virus.
It will be a fight. It will be a fight we will win. But it won't be a fight without cost or without loss. While Australians are being forced to be 1.5 metres apart, in so many ways we have never been closer together. And Tim, the Health Minister also stressed this afternoon the importance of staying at home this Easter. He did, Anne, this after announcing that he would deliver an additional 11 million surgical masks to health workers around Australia, most of those, about 7 million, into the public health system, but also some to aged care workers among the 11 million. He also announced there will be increased COVID-19 testing for health workers going forward. Already more than 300,000 COVID-19 tests across Australia for the broader public, uh, but this a new emphasis going forward on testing more for health workers and also, as you said, emphasise the importance of Australians staying home this Easter. This Easter is the time where we can lock in the gains we have made as a country. The virus does not take a holiday. Every one of us has the gift of being able to save lives by not transmitting coronavirus. Also a warning today from the Health Minister to those who might uh, abuse or threaten health workers uh, that they will face the full extent of the law. Anne? Tim Lester in Canberra. Thank you, Tim. US President Trump is considering pulling funding from the World Health Organisation just as his country grapples with the worst of the COVID outbreak. Paul Caddick is in New York for us, Paul. President Trump had some stern words for the WHO. Good afternoon. Yeah, President Donald Trump hitting out at the World Health Organization today, first on social media where he accused it of being very China-centric, and then from the White House saying that the U.S. might now consider withholding funding from the U.N. agency. The U.S. does provide the largest slice of funding for the WHO. Donald Trump says this goes back to when the U.S. decided to start limiting travel to people from China, and he says he was criticized by the WHO uh, at the time. Uh, the organisation did say that those sorts of travel bans were usually not effective unless they're done right at the beginning of an outbreak. Trump accusing the organisation of being very China-centric, accusing them of putting out a faulty recommendation. We will look at ending funding. Yeah, because you know what? They called it wrong. And if you look back over the years even, they're very much... Uh, everything seems to be very biased toward China. This comes as Donald Trump also faces criticism, accused of downplaying the outbreak in its early days, as a memo from a top White House aide written back in January surfaces that warned that the outbreak could become a pandemic that could cost the US trillions of dollars and endanger millions of lives. He wrote a memo, and he was right, and uh, I haven't seen the memo. I'll see it later on after this. But uh, it didn't matter whether I saw it or not because I, I acted on my own. This comes as the United States is in the week where they expect to see the peak of the virus outbreak. And there are some more positive signs here at the epicentre in New York State that the spread is starting to slow for another day. Uh, the rate of new people being admitted to hospital is down. The rate of new people being admitted to intensive care is also down. But New York's governor has said today that signs that the infection rate is slowing are also signs that social distancing is working. He told New Yorkers that they're, he understands that they're frustrated, that they've been under these restrictions for 37 days now, but they need to continue to ensure that they're saving as many lives as possible. From New York, it's back to you. Thank you, Paul. David Brown joins us now. Afternoon, Brownie. What's happening on the weather front? And look, it's uh, cool, cloudy. We've got a few passing showers. And yes, it is a taste of things to come in the short term. As we go to the radar, you'll notice the uh, showers have been, well, relatively light at the moment. In fact, uh, most falls across the Sydney Basin have been less than three millimetres since nine o'clock this morning. Across the state, though, we've got some storm activity happening in the west. It's all uh, unfolding along the converging side of this uh, low pressure trough. Back home, look at this. Our weather camera captured some isolated showers. There's one just sitting there down over the southwest. And as I step back, yep, there's another one as we head towards uh, Parramatta. We're looking towards Parramatta. 
matter, just isolated showers, as I mentioned earlier, most of them less than a couple of millimetres. Now, this pattern should see out another day across the uh, Sydney Basin, according to our Metro Atmospheric Model. Yes, cloudy with a few more light showers pushing through. It's cool at the moment. In fact, it's cool all the way from the coast right through to the foothills, but it's cold high in the Blue Mountains. Look at Katoomba. It's only 10 degrees. Of course, I'll have the uh, Worcester Easter weather <laughs> outlook. It's one of those days. Top <laughs> of the hour, and See you then, Brownie. Thank you. Still to come in Sydney's Afternoon News on 7, we'll be back with more on the Cardinal Pell saga, plus the reaction from the Vatican, as well as here at home. The former top cop who once led the effort to find William Tyrrell sentenced over bombshell criminal charges and supermarket shelves still empty, despite supply returning to normal. We investigate why. That's coming up. Do you uh, forget your shirt or are you just trying to get everyone's attention? What's a girl got to do to get the guy? I have seriously lost my mojo. Try flirting. Look like a man who'd be good with his hands. Try yelling. I like you! One approach will work, but which one? Do you like me too? Home and Away returns Easter Monday. Dad, Dad, look what I made! Oh, it's a masterpiece. Get building with Lego, now 20% off. Big W. Every day's a big day. Can care be better at home? Someone from Medibank mentioned that there's a chance I can do rehab at home. I said, oh, how much extra is that going to cost? And they said, no, you've got it in your hospital cover. It just was fantastic for me. When unexpected guests arrive, don't panic. Use Airwick plugins infused with essential oils. Just plug it in to neutralise smells for freshness that lasts up to 100 days. Come in. Airwick plugins. Special K. Rise with us. Rise with protein for muscle. Rise with iron for energy. Set goals, then kick them. Special K. Powering you. Get 60 months interest free now at Harvey Norman and receive a bonus gift card. The more you spend using interest free, the greater the value of the bonus gift card, up to $300. Get what you need now with huge deals across computers, technology, home appliances and entertainment. Get 60 months interest free and receive a bonus gift card. The more you spend using interest free, the greater the value of the bonus gift card, up to $300. Hurry, shop in store or online now at Harvey Norman. Oh, have you kids seen my pillows? Um, no. no. Get cosy with Trolls and Batman PJs, just $18. Big W, every day's a big day. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Donate some of your data to kids who need it most and power their potential. Are you confident you can cover your living costs in retirement? A Challenger Lifetime Annuity can complement your existing retirement income, giving you guaranteed income for life. Find out more at challenger.com.au While we're all parked for a while, Lexus isn't. We're still anticipating your needs. So if your Lexus needs a service, We'll pick it up, deliver you a loan car, and return yours thoroughly cleaned inside and out. Osteoarthritis causes inflammation in the soft tissue between your joints, which can feel like a burning pain. Nurofen helps to reduce the inflammation and relieve osteoarthritis flare-up pain for up to eight hours. Nurofen, also in double strength. Because sometimes it's more than just growing pains. Poopa offers an online program to help you manage your mental well-being. Poopa, because life happens. Call today. Honey, what came first, the bunny or the egg? What? Capri and Mars assorted Easter gift boxes, just seven fifty, save one fifty. Big W. Every day's a big day. You're watching 7's 4pm Sydney News. This is the view from Bondi Beach, where right now it's 19 degrees. If you just joined us, Cardinal Pell has hit the road following his release from prison, speaking to Seven News at a petrol station a short time ago. We'll have more on his comments and what's in store for George Pell coming up at 4.30.
In breaking news, the former head of the William Tyrrell investigation is himself now a convicted criminal after being sentenced this afternoon for illegally recording phone conversations. Evan Batten is at the Downing Centre. Good afternoon, Evan. Gary Jubelin was also fined. And the magistrate certainly didn't miss at all. Fined $10,000, but it's the conviction that we've uh, landed with as well that's really going to sting going forward. They had argued that Gary Jubelin has already suffered enough. He's, of course, lost his stellar career as a homicide investigator. And now, at age 57, he has to start looking for work with a criminal conviction. The magistrate, though, said he was having none of that request for no conviction to be recorded because he said his offending strikes across the heart of the Listening Devices Act. It was, of course, in 2017 and 2018 as head investigator in the William Tyrrell uh, matter that he recorded four conversations with a person of interest, Paul Savage. Now, today, as Mr Jubilant left court, he made it very clear this is not the outcome he wanted. I'm obviously, uh, obviously disappointed. I'd like to thank the uh, support I've had from my family, friends and, most importantly, the uh, victims of crime that have... Uh, the support has been overwhelming for me. As a former police officer, I respect the courts. I've said I've put people before the courts. The system might be perfect, but it's the best system we've got. Now, Anne, before he even left the building today, Gary Jubilant and his legal team lodged an appeal, so that will be coming in the next few months at the district court. Tonight at 6, we'll bring you the uh, other people who gave evidence today, character evidence in support of Gary Jubilin. And All right, Evan, thank you very much. The Chinese city known as the ground zero of the coronavirus has celebrated the end of an 11-week lockdown with a light show. Wuhan is now allowing its 11 million residents to freely travel in and out of the city. For the first time since the outbreak began, China says there have been no new COVID deaths within a 24-hour period. However, the legitimacy of the government's figures have been questioned. Israel has made it compulsory for anyone out in public to be wearing a face mask. Men who grow beards for religious purposes will get the option of custom-made face masks rather than being forced to shave. Next in Seven's Afternoon News, new details on Cardinal Pell, what the Pope had to say following his release from prison. Plus, some of Australia's most popular cars recalled. Is yours on the list? And in Sport with Jim Wilson, could the Panthers precinct be the answer for the NRL's return? Tonight on Seven News with Mark Ferguson. Exclusive George Pell's road trip towards Sydney. When could lockdown restrictions be eased and the banks profiting from your pain? Tonight on Seven News at six. Oh, boy. Oh, God. My leg is stuck. Do you want me to butter your thighs? The final season of Modern Family. Tonight on Seven. We know that nature provides the best and it's only natural to want what's best for your toddler. 100% grass-fed milk is better by nature. It's free from palm oil, GMO and growth hormones. 100% grass-fed milk encourages growth and development whilst gentle on baby's tummy and easy to digest. So you have the peace of mind knowing you've made the natural choice. 100% grass-fed milk made in New Zealand, better by nature. Feed the family with Hungry Jack's new family bundle. Treat yourself with two Whoppers, two cheeseburgers, four small chips, four Cokes, ten nuggets and sauce, only $24.95. Get takeaway, drive through or delivery at Hungry Jack's. Oh, little Bella's home with a newfound friend. Luckily, with Pino Clean Laundry Sanitizer, it doesn't matter where that's been. Because unlike detergent alone, which doesn't get rid of all germs, it removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's not clean unless it's Pino Clean. Home for Easter means funs and fun. All day to play. Keeping fit. Everyone doing their bit. Hidden places and smiling faces. It also means hot cross buns, four to nine pack varieties, excludes brioche and free from gluten. Now just $3 each, save 50 cents. And fresh cooked medium Aussie tiger prawns. Now just $27 a kilo, save $3 a kilo. This year, more than ever, have a safe and happy Easter. Wish you had internet that didn't let you down, that doesn't leave you hanging, and won't have you missing any of the action? Get Vodafone NBN with 4G backup. Plans start from just $65 a month. 
and with free express delivery, connect instantly once you receive it. Buy online today at vodafone.com.au. Ready? With Ryobi One Plus, One Plus U equals anything you can imagine. One Plus U equals growth. One Plus U equals inspiration. One Plus U equals pride. In fact, one battery powers over a hundred tools. So One Plus U equals endless possibilities. There's a glass and a half in everyone. Toyota has recalled 45,000 cars over concerns the vehicles might suddenly stall. The issue relates to potential problems with fuel pumps on seven models, which were sold nationally after October 2013. The vehicles affected are the Kluger, Hilux, Camry, Corolla, Land Cruiser, Prado and the FJ Cruiser. Time for sport now with Jim Wilson. Hello, Jim. Penrith hey. could be crucial to restarting the NRL season. Yes, and good afternoon to you. Afternoon, everyone. The Panthers group has offered the NRL full access to its expansive complex in Penrith as part of a plan to resume the season as early as next month. The complex has everything required to keep eight teams in full isolation. In addition to Panthers Stadium, there's a large hotel, multiple isolated training fields, gyms and team rooms, plus dining facilities. We think it makes a little bit of sense. If it's any help to the NRL, we're quite... We're quite happy to um, help in any way we can. Under the proposal, the other eight teams would be isolated in Sydney Olympic Park precinct with games played at ANZ and Bankwest Stadiums. The NRL's Innovation Committee, headed by Wayne Pearce, will have a detailed look at the plan tomorrow. COVID-19 has left many Australian sporting teams and leagues fighting for survival and overseas investors are ready to pounce. Andrew Klein is the founder of a Los Angeles-based investment bank named Park Lane, which focuses on sports. Having spent time here in the early 2000s, Klein knows the market and is seeking opportunities for his wealthy clients. We're assessing across the landscape um, all teams, all leagues in Australia, not to be vultures, but because because I love, I love the market, I love the teams, I love the country, and there's really no more passionate sports fans. Klein's Australian interest was rekindled by good friend Bradley Charles Stubbs, the self-styled coach whisperer used by Queensland origin coach Kevin Walters. And one of the Bulldogs sacked and deregistered players over the schoolgirl sex scandal, Jaden Ockenbohr, is appealing his indefinite ban from the NRL. The Million Dollar Sydney Cup is one of the feature races on day two of the Star Championships at Ramwick. Newcastle's champion trainer Chris Lees has the second favourite for the 3200 metres classic staying test, former European star Mustajia. He's on trial at the two mile. He's had one go before and um, he was never on the track in a Melbourne Cup. But I do think he's going a lot better. The race won by the mighty Winks in her farewell to racing last year, the Longines Queen Elizabeth Stakes, is the $2 million main event. You'll see it all live and free with Bruce and the team on 7 on Saturday afternoon. As sports across the globe scramble to find ways to get going again, UFC boss Dana White has come up with the ultimate solution. White says he has secured his own private island to stage I've fights on. Island. The infrastructure is being built right now. We're going to do all of our international fights on this island. We're going to start cranking. The UFC will be back up and running internationally and here in the States. Major League Baseball is considering a plan similar to Rugby League where all 30 teams will be isolated in Phoenix, Arizona and play the entire season in front of empty stadiums. Players, coaches and other key staff would live in isolation in local hotels, only leaving to travel to and from games. The postponement of the Tokyo Olympics has been a, a blessing in disguise for one of our medal contenders. Sydney kayaker Joe Brigden-Jones is on the front line during the health crisis, returning to her job as a paramedic on the northern beaches. It's definitely a very rewarding job. Each day we turn up to work and just help members of the community that we've never met before. 
Gee, it's a great story. More on our exclusive story with Joe in 7 News at 6. So there is a blessing in disguise as Absolutely. far as Tokyo being postponed. I mean, what yeah. a job she's doing and all of our emergency personnel. Very we take our so. hats off to them. Very yeah. much so. Thank you, Joe. Thank, thank, thank you, you, Jim. OK. Don't go anywhere. Our top stories are just ahead. Next, George Pell hits the road following his release from prison. We have the latest details as well as more on his first comments since being freed. Plus, the Vatican hits back. More on those stunning remarks from the Pope following Cardinal Pell's release. The dramatic police plan to catch anyone leaving their home this Easter. Supermarkets say the stock is shortage is over, so why are shelves still empty? Find out next. As the day breaks, Australian scientists are leading the way in the fight against coronavirus. The news breaks on sunrise. Ruby Princess is docking right now at Port Kembla. It's where you get what's unfolding. Her Majesty addressed people of the Commonwealth about COVID-19. Boris Johnson has been admitted to hospital. It's where the newsmakers turn. Can you pass on our great thanks to your health professionals? The team Australia trusts are on sunrise. Right now at Target, get 20% off toys from these big brands like Lego, Nerf, Barbie, Fisher-Price and more. Now on at Target. Offer ends April 26 in selected stores and online. Conditions apply. Bread is a part of life, so why not make life poppier, crustier, pumpkinier, down to the very last crumb. Abbott's Village Bakery. Every bit better. Of the music. Yeah, oh! <laughs> she's there, she's there. You'll make a great dad one day. You think so? I know so. Elevate has more folic acid and iron than any other pregnancy multivitamin. Love grows with Elevate. Wish you had internet that didn't let you down, that doesn't leave you hanging, and won't have you missing any of the action? Get Vodafone NBN with 4G backup. Plans start from just $65 a month. And with free express delivery, connect instantly once you receive it. Buy online today at vodafone.com.au. Ready? Don't let this great offer pass you by. Get paid the best toe price on all Exactors, Quinellas, Trifectas, First Fours and Quaddies every Saturday in Melbourne and Sydney this autumn carnival. Bet easy. Raise your game. At Domino's, our first priority is the health and safety of our team members and customers. That's why we are now offering zero contact delivery. So you can get any large pizza from $15 delivered with total peace of mind. Save up to 15% on your first year's premium when you get a new Allianz Comprehensive Car Insurance Policy online. Hey, good to go. Uh... Uh... Thanks. Get that uh... Allianz feeling. Search for a quote today. This is 7 Sydney Afternoon News with Anne Sanders. Welcome back to our Martin Place headquarters. These are our top stories on 7. Cardinal Pell has broken his silence for the first time since being released from prison. Speaking with 7 News earlier today. The Premier says she's open to discussions surrounding an early easing of lockdown laws, but has warned it could cost lives. The government's job keeper package is expected to pass Parliament in the coming hours. An exercise is now one of the only legal reasons to leave your home, but health authorities are warning us to take it easy. Find out why a little later in this program. More now on our breaking news. Cardinal Pell has broken his silence for the first time since his sensational release from prison. He's left Melbourne hitting the road. Chanel Vella has the latest. Well, that's right. The gates of the monastery behind me opened around 10.30 this morning and out drove a car with George Pell in the back seat. There was no one else in that vehicle, just him and a driver. Of course, they wanted to keep their distance in this new world that George Pell now lives in. But they headed up the, uh, the Hume Highway and that leads to Sydney, which is where we believe he was headed. But if you're going to head to Sydney, you need to stop for petrol at some point. And that's exactly what they did in a town called Wangaratta. He got out of the car. George Pell 
Intel went inside, he perused the aisles, he picked up a phone charger. Of course, he hasn't needed one of those for 404 days. He also spied himself on the front page of the paper here. But he did speak exclusively to our reporter, Paul Dowsley. Let's take a listen. What would you like to say to your accusers, your living accuser and the family of your deceased accuser? I'd like to say that the, the, the court has made a very good uh, decision. I'm sorry I'm not dressed a bit better, but I didn't expect visitors. And while there was so much security here overnight, police vehicles were here and there was private security at the monastery. That wasn't the case at the cathedral where uh, this alleged attack took place. That's St Patrick's Cathedral. Very obvious there that vandals have jumped the fence and scrawled graffiti all over the forecourt and on the doors of that church. But in some better news, they were able to clean that up and it has now been restored to its former glory. Chanel Vella reporting. Unsurprisingly, the Vatican has welcomed the High Court ruling on George Pell. Without making direct reference to the case, Pope Francis asked Catholics to pray for all those who suffer because of unjust sentences. Sarah Greenolch has more. Well, the Vatican has responded by saying it always had faith and confidence in the Australian justice system, welcoming the unanimous decision by the High Court. It released a statement which says, entrusting his case to the court's justice, Cardinal Pell has always maintained his innocence and has waited for the truth to be ascertained. At the same time, the Holy See reaffirms its commitment to preventing and pursuing all cases of abuse against minors. Now, Pope Francis spoke just hours after the ruling at a daily church service inside the Vatican. That daily mass has for weeks now been focused on the coronavirus pandemic, but today's was offered to those who have been suffering as a result of unjust sentences. The Pope then sent uh, what has been seen by some as a quite cryptic tweet, essentially comparing the persecution of Jesus to the suffering of those who have been wrongly sentenced by, quote, someone who had it in for them. The Pope never actually named George Pell in either the mass or on social media, but uh, it is being seen as a message of support and his words have certainly stunned many. Thanks, Sarah. Police have declared they'll be out in force this Easter long weekend, hitting anyone out and about without a valid reason with heavy fines. They've been given unprecedented new powers to track residents. Andrew Denny has more. Andrew, what will the crackdown look like? Well, with the Easter long weekend approaching, drivers are being warned that double demerits come into force in New South Wales from midnight tonight. But police will also be out patrolling the roads for a very different type of offender, and that's people travelling outside their local area without a valid reason. That means police will be patrolling major highways, checking where people are going and why. They'll also be monitoring caravan parks and popular camping spots, looking for anyone who shouldn't be there. They'll be utilising traffic cameras to monitor movements and number plate recognition capabilities. The advice is people should stay at home, even if you have standing holiday arrangements. It's all designed to stop the spread of coronavirus from one area to another. So where are you off to today? Holidaymakers found out of bounds will be warned and told to head home. If they don't, fines will then be issued. Police will be going through caravan parks. We will be using all of our powers and all of our technology to try and identify those people who shouldn't be in New South Wales. Now, one of the benefits to having less people moving about is that the road toll is significantly down. There are 88 deaths so far in New South Wales this year. That's 23 down on the same time last year. But police are warning people not to be complacent and they will be out patrolling for all the usual offences come this weekend. Thanks, Andrew. Virgin Australia is fighting for survival with reports experts have been brought in to assess the airline's options. Live to our network finance editor Gemma Acton. Hello Gemma. Hey. Now this could mean higher prices for passengers in the long term. Well, and private monopolies rarely work out well for customers. Without competition, there's no choice and there's no pressure to keep prices lower. The government's made it really clear that after the coronavirus crisis has passed, it expects and wants to see a healthy airline industry, which would have at least two major players. So they, they definitely don't want it to be reduced to a situation where there is no Virgin or no second carrier. So what are Virgin's options? Well, it's still in discussions with the government to have a financial support package of $1.4 billion. 
It could also try and get a private loan from private investors, but it's obviously a very difficult climate for that right now. And finally, it could appeal to its shareholders. Now, this is overseas airlines, Etihad Airlines, Singapore Airlines, uh, Richard Branson's Virgin Group and two Chinese airlines all own most of uh, Virgin Australia. However, they obviously have their own struggles at the moment. The owners of Virgin would be incredibly reluctant to pump in more money into the airline knowing that, that over the past five or six, seven years they've been doing this uh, you know, at, a, at a steady rate. While Qantas has also been in the headlines, it said that it will not be paying rent and some fees and charges to airports for the time being. The airport industry has come back and said that it is being very selfish and this could put lots of aviation jobs at risk. What about our share market today? How did the ASX 200 finish the day? Well, and it kept us guessing right until the final few minutes. It looked like it might close high, end up closing 0.86% lower. Gemma Acton, thank you very much. Despite calls to stop panic buying and assurances stock is returning to normal, supermarket shelves have been empty for weeks. They're still being stripped bare of everyday essentials like toilet paper, pasta and hand sanitizer. Chris Ma has the details. Chris, it's a trend that doesn't seem to be slowing down. Well, as supermarkets gear up for the Easter long weekend, shoppers are still being confronted regularly with empty shelves. For many items, the big supermarkets have seen specials return this week, including on Easter eggs and other regulars for the long weekend like prawns. But staples like pasta and rice are still hard to come by. And many cleaning products like hand soaps are still being snapped up by shoppers. And of course, deliveries of toilet rolls are quickly disappearing. The spaces on supermarket shelves, in some cases, taken up by Easter chocolates. The explanation for this high demand, supermarket bosses maintain supply chains are working well and along with this are increased with capacity, including overnight. In the case of some items, they can only transport so much. Obviously the amount you can move on a truck, the space it takes up in warehouses and uh, the, obviously the manufacturing line, it, it all requires a lot of volume. In some states like New South Wales, this Easter there is an extra opportunity to visit the supermarket with selected shops open on Good Friday. But to get your hands on some items like toilet rolls, it seems, timing is everything. In breaking news, tropical cyclone Harold is hammering Fiji as thousands ride out the Category 4 storm in evacuation centres. Vanuatu was first to be smashed by Harold, and these pictures show widespread destruction on Pentecost Island. Wind speeds in excess of 230 kilometres per hour are battering Fiji's largest island, where local towns are flooding and widespread building damage is being reported. We'll have to come sec for the latest on your money next. Then, how your level of exposure to COVID-19 could determine how badly you are affected. Lockdown measures trigger an unexpected exercise boom. Why experts are warning not to overdo it. And it's 18 degrees in Lemire. Brownie has our forecast soon. With each coronavirus development comes more confusion. There's been no clear direction from the government. That's why every night, get the latest. Infection rates are continuing to slow. Breaking down what you need to know. Good news for charities, not so much for casual workers. The latest from 7 News, every night. If you're craving the taste of your favourites, head to Macca's for a fast, safe and contactless drive through experience. For your Macca's run, Contact free, we'll be here. Do you have heartburn or indigestion? Gaviscon Dual Action relieves them both. It works fast, two ways. It neutralises excess stomach acid and it forms a protective barrier to help stop stomach acid from rising. Gaviscon Dual Action. Grown under the Australian sun by fourth generation apple growers, Modi Apples. Juicy, crunchy and deliciously sweet. Packed with natural goodness to help keep you healthy. From our family to yours, Modi Apples. Every bite a masterpiece. One of my favourite things about Bed Easy is all of the perks. Like watching every Sydney race live. So you can watch all the action from the Sydney Autumn Racing Carnival anywhere, anytime. Bed Easy, raise your game. She loves cats. So tonight, I'll borrow my neighbors. <laughs> my babies. Temptations Cat Treats. 
Every 14 minutes, someone finds love on eHarmony. Now with more matches, a new compatibility quiz with deeper insights and enhanced messaging, the new eHarmony experience is better than ever. Start something real with someone right. If your detergent isn't strong enough to remove stains without pre-rinsing, you're wasting up to 40 litres of water. Try new Finish Quantum Ultimate Pro. So powerful, you don't need to pre-rinse. It scrubs away dried on stains, degreases, and provides the ultimate shine. Stop the pre-rinse. Choose new Finish Quantum Ultimate Pro. Head to Macca's fast, contact-free drive through if you need a little comfort and get two hash browns for just $2 all day or a classic hamburger for only $1.50. For your Macca's run, contact-free will be here. If the unexpected happens, capture it and lodge a quick and easy online claim with Amy. It's like he's actually in the room. love and support. Family is number one. An unbreakable bond. Unbreakable, you say? Challenge accepted. They may know each other, but I know how to win. Will family love win them massive cash? There's no greater love than winning. The Chase, coming up next on 7. If you look towards the sky tonight, you may be able to get a glimpse of the largest supermoon of the year. Moon gazers across the world were treated to this view over London's Tower Bridge, although with a lockdown in force, the streets were very quiet. A supermoon occurs when a full moon is near its closest point to the Earth. Checking finance now with Tom Petrosky at Comsec. Hello, Tom. Not a great day for the banks. It wasn't, Anne. Uh, sellers certainly had them in their crosshairs for a second day. It all turned around a directive that has been made by the banking regulator, APRA, and they've basically said that the lenders need to look after their own financial health uh, before considering paying out dividends. So, of course, uh, that put the frighteners on investors for a second day where the lenders were concerned. Today we had the NAB and Westpac down in the order of around 5%. We also heard from the ratings agencies. They've put the uh, put Australia on a negative credit watch. We still have our AAA credit rating, uh, but they are worried about the level of spending at the moment uh, as the government tries to balance the economy uh, in the face of the coronavirus crisis. So that did weigh on the Aussie dollar ultimately, and it's trading just above 61 US cents at the moment. Tom Brotowski from Comsec. Thank you, Tom. You're watching 7's Afternoon News still to come. With people across the city confined to their homes, getting active is one of the only legal reasons for you to leave your house. Just ahead, why experts are warning not to overdo it. Scientists are working to determine how even people in their 30s with no underlying health issues are ending up in intensive care with coronavirus. Many suspect the initial dose of infection a patient receives will determine how well they recover. Andrew Nicholas has more. It's called the viral load, the amount of virus that initially enters your body. And many scientists believe it could be playing a huge part in the prognosis of coronavirus patients. If you contracted COVID-19 from a surface like a window or railing, your dose is likely to be fairly low, giving your immune system a fighting chance. But it could be a different story if you're in a room with people infected with the virus. If someone um, coughs continuously over you or you're in very close contact with someone, you then get a very rapid um, amplification of the viral load. He says it could explain why some people in their 30s and 40s are ending up in intensive care and why cruise ship passengers are being struck down so severely. Absolutely, it was a perfect environment to, for the virus to spread. Adelaide researchers have teamed up to investigate whether genetics could explain why some COVID-19 patients show barely any symptoms. The Women's and Children's Hospital Foundation study will assess a range of patients over the next six months. While scientists work around the clock trying to understand exactly how the virus works, the only tools we have to stop the spread right now are social distancing and self-isolation. Sydney 6pm News is coming up with Mike Ferguson. Hello, Mark. What are you working on in the newsroom? Yeah, good day there, Anne. Another busy day in the newsroom. Tonight, Cardinal George Pell has hit the road, believed to be heading for Sydney following his release from prison. Tonight, what he told our camera crew, plus the continuing bitter fallout from the High Court's decision. 
Another Ruby Princess passenger has become Australia's 50th COVID-19 victim. As our state's numbers stabilise, could the lockdown laws be eased? More details on what businesses could be affected at six. Scott Morrison says the country will win the coronavirus fight, but it will come at a cost as Parliament debates the JobKeeper legislation. Supermarkets say the stock shortage is over, so why are so many shelves still empty? Celebrations in Wuhan as the city's 11-week lockdown comes to an end. What we can learn. And impacting you, banks still charging late fees with everyday accounts targeted. What you need to know. And all those details and plenty more, Sydney 7 News tonight at 6 o'clock. See you then, Fergo. Thank you. The Easter show may be cancelled, but the show bags are still on sale. Woolworths is teaming up with a top show bag supplier to bring them to a supermarket near you. Twelve different bags will be available in over 200 stores. 4.48, let's get a check on Sydney's traffic. Good afternoon, I'm Alex Stroyd in the Sydney Blinds traffic chopper. An earlier truck breakdown just outside the M5 East Tunnel has been picked up. We're hovering over another truck breakdown at Warrawee, the Pacific Highway northbound right near Fox Valley Road. As you can see, the centre lane's been taken out and we do have heavy delays on the approach back into the Pimble area. Change your blinds with Sydney Blinds and screens this change of season with massive savings across a huge range. Visit sydneyblinds.com.au for more today. And a friendly reminder to wear gloves when filling up at the petrol station. Working from home and strict social distancing has seen a surge in people embarking on a DIY fitness regime. However, health experts say suddenly going from couch potato to marathon runner could do a lot of harm. Casey Trelaw reports. In these unprecedented times, keeping active is vital for the health of our bodies and minds. While social distancing means we're staying at home more, many have taken to pounding the pavement. I just figured I'd use the spare time to get fit. This is probably my fourth run now. <laughs> pretty tired, pretty puffed, it's only one lap. With gyms shut, those wanting to get into shape are coming up with their own fitness goals. I'm trying to do two one-hour walks a day. But if you're getting off the couch after a long period of inactivity to run or try a new home workout, could you be doing more harm than good? Health experts say yes. If you're doing some extreme new physical activity, you might even end up fainting, becoming dehydrated. And in some extreme cases... Put yourself under extreme strenuous forms of exercise, you could actually run the risk of having a heart attack. Personal trainers say don't push too hard too quickly. If you don't understand your, your general state of health, um, be really careful, start, start slow and build up. If you're not feeling right, back off. Now's not the time to start running a marathon if you've never run one before. So if you're starting out on a new fitness regime, the advice is to consult a health professional to ensure you're doing the right exercise for your body. Next in 7's Afternoon News, David Brown will be here with your latest forecast. Want to see the world's most breathtaking sights? In a new season for 7-2, come and explore the rails less travelled on Chris Tarrant's Extreme Railways. It's just extraordinary. Then, hitch a ride with David Jason on planes, trains and automobiles. When I was a lad, this would have been the bee's knees. Jump into history's greatest machines. It's been a boyhood dream to drive the real deal. And discover the world's most spectacular scenery. Let's take a ride. Extreme railways and planes, trains and automobiles. Tonight on 7-2. What if you're missing information that could affect your child's future? Like important information about meningococcal disease. A rare but potentially deadly and devastating illness, most common in infants and adolescents. Missing information could mean missing out on a whole lot more. Speak to your doctor for more information on meningococcal disease and how you can help protect your family. An important coronavirus update from the Australian Government. Always practice good hygiene. Social distancing saves lives. You must stay two arms lengths away from others, even if you are healthy. Only leave home when necessary. If directed to self-isolate, you must stay home and avoid physical contact with others. Coronavirus. Stop the spread. Stay up to date. Download the app. Visit australia.gov.au. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. The back seat was a battleground. 
until the award-winning Santa Fe brought new levels of space, comfort, and safety. Now, the Hyundai Santa Fe brings you V6 power. If dry or flaky skin is causing you frustration and embarrassment, try E45 cream. It soothes and relieves by creating an effective barrier to protect against skin dryness. Feel comfortable in your skin. Switch to E45. With McDelivery, Macca's comes to you. With contact-free options, you can enjoy all your Macca's favourites, delivered to you via the Uber Eats app and Deliveroo. Every 14 minutes, someone finds love on eHarmony. Now with more matches, a new compatibility quiz with deeper insights and enhanced messaging. The new eHarmony experience is better than ever. Start something real with someone right. The good guys know the new Dyson V11 Outsize has the most powerful suction of any cordless vacuum with a 25% wider cleaner head and a 150% bigger bin. Come in store to see the Dyson V11 Outsize and remember, pay less every day at the good guys. Unconditional love and support. Family is number one. An unbreakable bond. Unbreakable, you say? Challenge accepted. They may know each other, but I know how to win. Will family love win them massive cash? There's no greater love than winning. The Chase, coming up next on 7. This weather report brought to you by The Good Guys. Contactless home delivery now available. Pay less every day at The Good Guys. In this crisis, 7 News is the one news service breaking down the facts. Your definitive source. Turn to 7 News at 6. Here's a bizarre story. This children's playground in the UK has been overrun with sheep in recent days. They've taken over from the kids and taken a spin on the roundabout. This video was captured by a local who says the farm animals have turned up two days in a row. <laughs> Also turning up is David with the weather. What's happening, Brownie? I believe it, Anne. We've had goats, now sheep. Yep. What are we going to have tomorrow? <laughs> Look, uh, we're expecting more showers around this evening and again tomorrow. And, in fact, it's been rather cool today. In fact, uh, let's have a look at the, our maximum. There it was, 20.2 degrees. That was around 2.54 this afternoon. And, by the way, that's about 2 degrees on the cool side of normal for the state. Current conditions, 16 degrees in Canberra. Newcastle, uh, it's 19 degrees and it's showering there at the moment. To the north in Tamworth, it's cloudy, although fine and 23 degrees. Thunderstorms are rumbling across southern parts of our state. As we can see, most of the activity is confined to the, the southern tip of this active low pressure trough. We've got areas of showers throughout this region as well, but most have been fairly light. The thing you'll notice during the forecast period, the trough is heading inland. In response to that, the unsettled weather will follow with areas of rain and storms building tomorrow afternoon. Good totals are likely, and we'll see showers running along most of the eastern seaboard as well. Around the nation tomorrow, sunshine expected in Brisbane. Forecast top 27 degrees. Sunny in Melbourne too. Light winds, a beautiful autumnal day around 22 degrees. 23 expected in Adelaide. And that unseasonal heat continues in Perth for another day. Yep, 33 degrees tomorrow. Back home, we'll see just a few showers rolling through and a cool top of 21 degrees. As for the next seven days, improving Good Friday, some clearing showers and then a lengthy fine spell to take us all the way through the middle of next week. That's the latest weather. More at 6 a.m. All right, Brownie, thank you. And that is Sydney's 4 p.m. news for this Wednesday. Mark Ferguson will bring you 7 News at 6. I'm Ann Sanders. Stay with 7 now for The Chase Australia, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Have a great night. Bye for now. Biggest challenge in House Rules history.